Yeah, today is Saturday, 13th of January, late afternoon. Come up to the little building, do a little bit of winterizing. I'm seeing, especially my cauliflower. Not looking great. Cabbage seems to be doing okay. Well, I'm not going to come back tomorrow and do our harvesting. And uh, driving up here, quite a few folks put uh, sheets and plastic roses, and some of them planted non cold tolerant ornamentals. They did the same thing with those sheets and plastic, tried to save them, I guess. Yeah. Uh, problem I got is I can't find two weather forecasts that match. They're all over the damn place. Uh, some are saying tomorrow morning is supposed to be 21. Some are saying 29. Some are saying Monday morning is supposed to be 7. Some are saying 18. So it's kind of hard to make my adjustments and plan. I was thinking about just shutting the water off at the meter for this little building. I don't think I need to do that, to tell you the truth. Uh, this area here is the area prone to freezing. On my ground level water faucet outside, I'm using a double bucket method to protect it and uh, that way it'll absorb the heat from the slab and should keep anything above the slab from freezing. I've got the little styrofoam thing on the water spigot on this exterior wall and what I'm going to do is using this little, we call it a milk house heater. Um, just simply set it on 1300 watt medium speed down here at the very bottom it's got a little sub freezing icon over there on the left hand side which is the lowest setting medium work and about right there Get this thing plugged in. Just like that. And I don't have to worry about my interior pipes and commode freezing. All I gotta do is keep this area here above 32. Right now the building's at 57. So I've got plenty of residual heat. Especially got down into the mid upper 20s last night been cloudy all day and tell you the truth it's kind of pleasant outside i think my truck said it's 58 and wind laid down a little bit which means it's going to get real cold tonight and, uh, yeah i think i'm pretty much winterized i think I might go ahead and turn off the water main. I don't know. I'll look at it. If it, again, now they're saying Monday snow could be heavy. Uh, before, is a real low chance of snow. Now, the little icon on the weather report showing snow and freezing rain, which is the worst thing that can happen. Freezing rain here, power goes down. And, uh, Grocery stores and Walmart are just crazy, stupid busy. And people panic buying. I had to get diesel in my truck yesterday on the onboard tank. My bed tank's got 100 gallons of diesel in it. But I know exactly where a 20 gallon is on my fuel gauge inside the cab of the truck. And with credit card points, I get a 50 cent a gallon discount 
up to 20 gallons per transaction. So I hit that 20 gallon refill point. I go save my $10 on 20 gallon. And let me tell you where I get fuel at, it was insane. Uh, people filling up five gallon gas cans, people filling up the cars. It was just, it was insane. No courtesy at all. But that's what people do. So, oh, I got my uh, windshield polishing compound in too. That's what that is. So that's good. So, oh, I found my disc calendar. I was wondering where I put that thing. So anyway, let me uh, double check things and have to pick up Jura. She's at a little job at the mall. And it's supposed to work on Monday too. And I said, honey, if we got a lot of snow on the road and ice, uh, you ain't going. I can get her up there, I'm four wheel drive, but the problem is, it's the mall. And if there's snow and ice on the roads, ain't nobody gonna go to the damn mall. And I'd be a waste of money and time for her employer to even open up his little business. It's just stupid. But that's just me. Uh, anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.